So you want to download the Spectrum DXE Programmer app in your smartphone or tablet and you're having trouble. It's a pretty cool app. You can do a lot of custom programming. You can maybe transfer the settings in this transmitter from the Apprentice to the Aero Scout, or you can custom program it. You can do tons of stuff with this app. Doesn't have a screen on the uh, transmitter? This is your screen. If you're having trouble downloading it, let me show you some things that will help you out. Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. So, I'm going to answer a uh, Spectrum question and then kind of just show you guys some things that maybe will help a few of you guys out. So somebody asked in particular that because of uh, Mwa's video that he wanted to download the Spectrum DXE programmer app so that that person could you know, either custom program their DXE, you know, for a project they're working on, you know, it's coming up on fiddling season, so it's getting winter time, or wanted to, uh, let's say you got it with a, um, an apprentice and now you want to use it on an Aero Scout or even a blade helicopter or custom program it. For those of you that don't know, this DXE program or, uh, transmitter is very capable. This is a seven channel transmitter and it does a lot. It does almost as much as as this guy. Almost. But there's no screen on the DXE. The screen is your phone or your tablet. And you can connect your phone or your tablet to the DXE. Direct wire, USB to the little servo plug, which the plug is hidden right here under this little rubber uh, stopper. Or a Bluetooth module. And the person says, hey, I tried to download it, and it would not download because my Samsung phone or tablet was too new. So, let me show you here on my computer, the Google Play Store, and let's see what you need, how old your device needs to be, and so on. I've also emailed uh, Spectrum, so when they get back to me, I'll update you guys. All right, over to the uh, computer. Hang on. Before we go to the computer, this phone right here is that and I bought this for about ten dollars brand new from my local Kroger grocery store it was in their discounted uh, rack area they probably had 30 phones that day this phone is capable of having the DXE programmer app so that is a possibility for a situation if you can't uh, download it all right the Google Play Store where you get your applications from Google, Google Play. So there's a Google ecosystem. If you're an Android person and you are logged on and signed in to your Google account on all your devices, then when you look at the Google Play Store on a particular app, it will tell you if this app will work for all your devices. So let's pull up Spectrum and let's just see what we can learn real quick. All right, the first uh, app is the AS3X programmer. That's for the AR636 uh, receivers. Here's our uh, DXE. Oop, there's an IX14 app, an IX20 app. And there's, there's tons more in here. Everything for the cars and the IX12s, and the, there's bunches. So let's click on the DXE and let's just see what, what we can see. So being that I'm logged on into Google and all my devices, and we're looking at it on the computer here. You can see right here, this app is available for all your devices. So that will kind of answer your question right off the bat if you should even try to download it. You know, if you have a phone or a tablet and you're logged on to your Google account, then when you're looking at Google Play on no matter what device it is, this right here will say it will work on some of your devices. You know, and it'll list the device that it won't work on. So let's just scroll through here and just see what what uh, what we can see and learn. About this app. So this is cool at the top, and this, that's, that's true. If you've ever managed a music library on a PC or a smartphone, you can program the DXE. And that's true, guys. So, um, 
Da, 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 known issues. This app is confirmed to work on the following devices. Motorola, Motorola, Samsung, S4, S5, Nexus X6, S6 Edge. So somebody or other, some people must have had issues and, and they fixed it. And that's why they had to you know, make that statement. And uh, it was last updated 2018. Requires Android. Various permissions. And then here's my devices. So being that it was last updated in 2018, you're probably going to need a phone 2018 and older. And then you can check right here on the on the app if it's going to work on all your devices or not. And if you have a brand new S20 phone or what have you, and it's not uh, compatible, then maybe that cheap phone like, like I had, or maybe my email to them, they will update it. You know, I'm sure that they can do something fairly, you know, simple on their end to where, make it where we can, uh, you know, use it on other, other apps. I guess that's it guys. So hopefully that, uh, that helps you guys out. The particular person that, uh, had a problem with the new phone not working. Maybe you have your old phone or your old tablet, or you can get a $10 uh, special like I had, or look on eBay. I tell you what, let's look on eBay right now. Hang on. All right. So let's type in uh, the Samsung S8. That's the newest one that I have. And we'll click on uh, auction. And then we'll go to. Uh, Ending soonness. So this thing says nine bucks and six ninety nine shipping. Eh, that sounds too good to be true. Right there you go. Okay, cracked screen. So so there you go. If you could deal with the cracked screen, you can program your DXE there for nine bucks. See what else we got. Here's one for fifteen. Let's, uh, all right, now we're on the S4. I have an S4 also, and it works. $20 plus 10 for shipping. So about 40 bucks or less, you can get an S4. You can get an S8 with a cracked screen for, you know, about the same. Then you can make phone calls and use your DXE programmer all at the same time. Maybe you have to have a second phone. You probably got an old phone in the junk drawer and you just need to charge it up. You don't have to have an ac active uh, phone service to download it. You just need to connect your phone to Wi-Fi. Well, I hope that helped a few of you guys out. Maybe gave you guys a little laugh, a little, so, hmm, I didn't know that, so... That's what, uh, that's what YouTube's all about. It's kind of like a little, little circle of sharing and learning and, you know, giving and taking. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So, if you wonder where I've been, I've been working on my uh, Money Pit home renovation project. Long story short is I bought a new condo, old condo, because I need to move my mom in. I need to take care of her. And no matter what we got, it was going to have to have some work done to it. Handicapped bathrooms. The door needs to be wide enough for a walker or a wheelchair. You know, you got to have a ramp to get in the house. Just stuff. So I found a place for a great deal, and I'm doing all that stuff to it, and uh, and some more stuff. And then I look at this stuff, and I say, oh gosh, there's more stuff. I started a second channel. The name of the channel is YouTube Pays My Mortgage. I have uh, several videos that I'm working on editing and getting up to go along with the 10 or 12 that are already there, and they'll get better with time. I'd appreciate y'all's subscription. My uh, offer still stands. If you guys get it up to a thousand subscribers within 30 days, now we're at about uh, two weeks left, something like that, then I would do a uh, raffle. I'll do five $100 gift certificates to Horizon Hobby and uh, we'll do a drawing. So I'll put a link in the description over to the new channel. So, all right, guys, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, you'll see me here. And, uh, Maybe watch a couple of these videos, wherever they are. Okay, guys. Hey, adios. All right.